Lexi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna kind of be doing a lot of everything, really. I have so much I need to do today, so main thing on the to-do list is I need to wash all the bedding and that takes a long time in itself. I gotta take the duvet cover off, all of the sheets, get all of the bedding washed. I also want to organize our little spice cabinet behind me, so I have all of my seasonings in there and I got some glass jars from Amazon. I'll make sure to link them down below. I wanna get all of my seasonings in those glass jars. I also ordered some little fancy labels as well. So I wanna get those labeled. So those are like the two main things we're gonna do. I also wanna share with you guys a home haul as well. There's gonna be some cleaning motivation. Like I said, this video is a little bit of everything. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I do want to share that home haul with you guys and then get all the bedding and the washing machine, but I wanted to share with you guys my little spice cabinet. So this is how it's looking right now. As you can see, it's completely unorganized. These little, um, this little like shelf that comes out was already here when we moved in, so I don't know where it's from. I tried to find it on Amazon for you guys and I could not find it, but that is amazing. I wish it was like um, wider, but that's okay because it gives me room to store like other seasonings right here. But I got these from Amazon. I will link these below and they're just glass. They have a silver top. They're really nice. It did come with these labels right here, but I really wasn't much of a fan of these labels. It also came with the little black circles that you can stick these on. I wanted to do something a little bit more nicer. So I ordered a pack from Amazon. These were super affordable. That's backwards. And here are the labels it came with. It comes with so many. And it also comes with some blank ones as well. So if you don't have a seasoning you're looking for, you can write it out. I thought that looked so good. So we're gonna do that here in a second. But first, let me share with you guys that home haul and let's get the bedding in the washing machine. All right, so let me share the home haul with you guys. I got stuff from Target, TJ Maxx, and Aldi. Let's start with these Aldi candles first. You guys, these are a dupe for the anthropology candles. It is in this glass jar. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Do you see how beautiful this is? So this one is the coconut cream and oh my gosh, it smells so good and it is glass. Like this container is so adorable. I love it and it smells so good. This one is the jasmine one. <sighs> This one smells so good too. I plan to use these jars even when I'm done with a candle. You can put like cotton balls in here, cotton rounds, some Q-tips. These are just such beautiful jars. I love that one. And then this one is the sugared mandarin and cedar. And these are soy blended candles. And these are by the brand Huntington Home at Aldi. I will say these ones in the glass jar smell a lot stronger than like the traditional jar that most Aldi candles come in. These ones smell way stronger. Smells so good. This one's gonna go in my office, I think. It's like that beautiful blush color. I love that one. So also I picked up these little jars from Aldi as well. This was $4.99 and it's just these olive oil and balsamic vinegar spray bottles. I thought that was an amazing deal. I went ahead and filled my olive oil last night and you just spritz it out. I've been making my own salad dressing. I've been having a lot more salad. So I thought this would be really good. Instead of pouring olive oil and accidentally pouring too much, you can just spray your lettuce. And you can also put this on like your subs too. So I gotta get some more balsamic vinegar to fill this one up. But I thought $4.99 was such a good deal. I had to share that with you guys because the new sale starts in a few days. So you need to check that out. All right, next thing I got are these adorable pajamas. This is not a home related item, but I had to share it. You guys loved my last leopard pajamas that I wore in my after dark clean with me. So these are these like little leopard. They're very similar to the other ones I have, but this one is a lot more like breathable material, definitely more of like a summer material. And it's just so cooling to the body. It is by the brand Stars and Above, and it just has this beautiful kind of leopard print on it. And then it also has a matching short sleeve shirt. You guys can see the shirt and it just like buttons shut. I will say that usually in the stars and above, I get a medium in the top and the bottom, but the bottoms do run small. If you're curvy like I am, it was a little bit too tight around the hip area. So I exchanged the bottoms for a large for more of like a looser, relaxed fit. So recommend sizing up if you're kind of curvy in the hips and butt area but I thought these were so stinking cute. Stars and Above makes the cutest PJs. And then next up, 
I got some goodies from TJ Maxx. I guess I can start with these picture frames. They were $7.99 each. They are an 8x10, but you put a 5x7 picture in it. I thought these were so sleek and modern and beautiful. I want to add our wedding photos to this. Ryan has already requested the picture he wants in his. So I want to go to just like Walgreens and get those printed out. And I thought these would be so beautiful on our nightstand to add like some pictures. I'm finding like areas to put our wedding photos at because they're just so beautiful. I want to display them. Next up, I got these satin pillowcases from TJ Maxx and I love sleeping with these. I actually already own some, but they're blush pink and it kind of like ruins the aesthetic of my bedding and I wanted them to be white. So why these are so great, it says it reduces bedhead, flyaways, and breakage. It helps soften the skin and reduces wrinkles. So it's just so much better on your skin to sleep with these versus just like the traditional pillowcase. So thought these were such a good deal for $7.99. Can't wait to put those on my pillows. I also picked up, since we're talking about home related items, not really exciting, but it is this mesh scrubber. And you guys know how I feel about my silicone brushes, like my silicone sponges in the kitchen. I just love them so much. And this is kind of like a mesh material, so I will be able to just like pop it in the dishwasher to sanitize it. But this is amazing at scrubbing your pots and pans it says it is safe for non-stick surfaces and it is dishwasher safe so i had to pick it up because sometimes my pots and pans need a little extra work than my silicone sponge can do so instead of letting my pots and pans soak which is what i've been doing this will be a really good scrub that won't ruin my pots and pans so this was 2 dollars at tj maxx I also picked up these linen dish towels. They are definitely more of a decorative dish towel. I don't actually plan to use these, but they're really good. You can dry your hands on them if you want. I think I'm just going to display them on my little, that little handle on my stove, just to kind of add some decorative elements to the kitchen. You got a three pack and they are super thick and they're a linen material and it has three different patterns, has a checkered, it has this line that's a little bit thicker and then a skinnier um, line as well. Just thought that was a really good set. And these were $7.99 from TJ Maxx. Next up is this like anthropology inspired mug. I love having different mugs to drink my coffee out of. It has this beautiful rose color and just like, it's just gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see how pretty this mug really is. It was only $3.99 and I just saw it, had to have it. It was right at the, like the little area where you check out, you know, you pass that like line of things that Home Goods or TJ Maxx tries to get you to buy. That was where I found the set. So thought that was such a beautiful mug. I also picked up this chili lime seasoning. I get so many of my seasonings from TJ Maxx. They have like the best ones, like really good gourmet seasonings. It was $3.29 and I want to make some shrimp tacos with the seasoning. So I'm already planning some recipes. I can make some pulled chicken like in the Instant Pot. So I plan to just like saturate either the fish or the shrimp or the chicken with the seasoning, a little bit of lime juice, let it marinate in the fridge for like an hour and then like cook it up on either a pan or in my instant pot I feel like it will be really really good so I'll have to share a recipe with you guys using the seasoning but it's just the chili lime seasoning by pure kitchen from TJ Maxx kitchen related I needed some more olive oil since I used my entire olive oil to fill up that container so this is just the extra virgin olive oil I find that TJ Maxx and home goods and Marshalls they have amazing prices on their olive oil no one will compare to Costco though so if you can go to Costco recommend that but I wasn't going to Costco anytime soon so this huge jar was $9.99 which is like such an amazing deal even better than Aldi so I was super excited to get this and the jar is just so beautiful if you wanted to display this on your countertop as well next up i got this massive basket from tj maxx it was 29.99 so i have the brand on it it's by the brand house and garden and the reason why i needed this basket this would be amazing for laundry as well if i would have had two of them i probably would have gotten a second one but i'm going to use this for my decorative pillows usually when we go to bed i will put all of our decorative pillows on the bench in front of the bed but they always end up like tossing over and ending up on the floor which i do not like the idea of pillows on the floor so the idea behind this is i'm going to stuff all of our decorative pillows inside this basket so that way they're not on the floor i tried it last night and it worked really well i do have to kind of pile them in there but it works amazing so if you're looking for a space to like store your decorative pillows get you a large basket and it matches the master bedroom perfectly 
All right, that is everything that I got, but I want to share with you guys our new mirrors that I got from Target, so let me turn you around. Okay, guys, these are the new decorative mirrors that are going above our nightstand. Ryan just installed them. It looks so good. So this is how it kind of looks on the side. It's a natural wood color, which I love. I originally wanted to do black, but I saw these at Target and was like, this is going to look so beautiful in a master bedroom. So that is how it's looking above the nightstand. I think it looks so good. I almost just tripped over the basket. I gotta clean all this stuff up from the hall, but doesn't that look so good, you guys? I love it. So I will try to link these down below. I got them in store, but I just love that natural wood color and how big they are. I just think they're the perfect size. I think I told you guys in another video, I ended up returning those ones I got from Home Goods because I just felt they were too small for the space. These ones are actually about double that size of the black ones I share with you guys in a Home Goods haul. And I just think they look so good. So I'll make sure to link them below. It came in that natural wood color and they also had kind of like a reddish color wood as well. So if that's more your color, then you can definitely get those. But it actually matches the bench and front of the bed really well it's not exactly the same color but very similar i'm loving how it's looking ready to wash all the bedding i first wanted to share with you guys the new quilt that we got so if you see the duvet that is on the bed right now love that but it was just getting so so hot we have a very thick down comforter inside our duvet and i didn't want to have to like buy one that's a little bit more lightweight i just want to like use this one because it works amazing in the fall and winter time but now that it's like spring and it's been so hot here in south carolina we were like getting so hot in the middle of the night so I went to TJ Maxx and I picked up this little quilt and it is so much more lightweight than this like really thick duvet. And so what we do is we just fold the duvet cover um, whenever we go to bed and we actually use this as like our blanket. And it actually is amazing because I'm not having to wash the duvet cover as much. Usually I was washing the duvet like every week or every other week. But now that this is not ever really touching our skin since I fold it back and we just use the quilt, I'm not having to wash this nearly as much, which is going to be amazing because we all know how hard it is to get a duvet on a um, down comforter. So this was, I have a little tag right here so you guys can see it. I got the full queen and my bed is a queen size and the duvet that I have is a king and also the duvet insert is a king so that way it can kind of like drape on either side. So I got it in the full queen. It was only $29.99 and it is the softest thing. It's by the brand Live Plus Well. Strongly recommend this. They had like five different colors. I want to go back because they had a color that was like this one and I thought that'd be very beautiful on the bed as well. So like when this one's in the wash, I can just put the other one on. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys that before we go ahead and wash everything and you don't really see it when the bedding is like set up well this pillow usually goes here and you don't really see it but if I did get one this color it would kind of peek through right here so I think that'd be pretty Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get all of the bedding off of this bed. I wanted to take the tag off our new basket. Usually we have all of the pillows on the bed and then I just put the decorative pillows in the basket. But since I had to take all the pillowcases off, I'm kind of stuffing the basket extra full today. But I wanted to share with you guys, I recently just vacuumed my mattress and I wanted to share that because it had been about a year since I had did that. And essentially what that means is you remove all of your bedding and you put some baking soda down on your mattress i put some a lemon essential oil and some orange but you can you don't have to put the essential oil that's just optional and i let it sit for a couple of hours and then i just vacuumed my mattress i wanted to share that because that's just a little reminder to add into your spring cleaning it just freshens it up it also gets rid of any odors or bacteria in your mattress so that's a great little tip if you haven't taken care of that this year i knew it had been a full year since i did mine so it felt so good to get that done
So now we're just popping all of the bedding in the washing machine. Now the quilt that I share with you guys from TJ Maxx that does need to be washed on the delicate cycle, but everything else can be on a normal cycle. And I didn't want to wash everything separately since it was all whites. So I just went ahead and put everything on a delicate cycle. I just did an extra large load. Well, my washing machine has a load called bulky, which essentially is an extra large load. And I did the max fill line to make sure everything got covered in water. And I used a little bit more OxyClean, a little bit more laundry detergent. And I also used, um, um, the downy um, scent booster to make my clothes smell really good. I just wanted to wash down my washer and dryer since it was very dusty. I'm just using my Mrs. Myers multi surface concentrate to wipe everything down. Maybe it's time that I let you. So before we get started on our spices, I just wanted to vacuum everything out and I also wanted to wipe down everything. It wasn't too bad because I had just organized the spice cabinet in December and wiped everything out. So for the most part, it wasn't too bad to wipe out, but just wanted to take care of that before we got started. all the seasonings I definitely have way more seasonings than I have the glass jars so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my most used ones in the glass jars and then I may order another pack we'll see once we have everything in there but I'm gonna start with the ones of the seasonings that I know I'm gonna use most often <laughs> So we are going ahead and adding our seasonings to our glass jars. It did come with this little funnel to help you, but I will say that it's completely unnecessary because it kept getting clogged. So you'll see me attempt to use it on a couple of them. And then eventually I just pour and make a mess, <laughs> but that's okay. I also wanted to share, I got these jars back in December and I actually unpacked them and washed them in my unpacking video that I did in December. So I did want to share these were washed. Although I pulled them out the box, I stored them back in the box until I could get around to getting them organized but I will say it took a couple of days for the jars to completely dry out so when you get them wash them right away turn them upside down on like a dishcloth and it took about two days for them to completely dry I did find that little plastic piece that goes on the little glass jars, hard to remove. So I used a knife to help me. You will see me add that plastic piece to some of my seasonings, ones that I need a lot of, I did not add it back on. So like my chili flakes, I didn't add it back on because it would be hard to come out those little holes. So I did save them just in case I wanna add them at a later time, but I just wanted to say that I know some people choose not to use the plastic piece at all. I may eventually take all of them off and just use like a little wooden spoon to get the seasonings out so we'll see how this goes but for the meantime I pretty much put the plastic piece on most of them and then I kept it off on some of them While doing this process, I also was doing tons of decluttering as well. A lot of my seasonings expired at the end of 2020, so I wanted to share that. If it had been some time since you went through your seasonings, definitely go through it, because I had about 10 seasonings that I had to throw out. So I just wrote those down, so that way I could just buy those again if I needed them. I also had doubles and triples of seasonings, so I'm so glad I have these glass jars, so that way I can just know what I have. And if I had like triple of a seasoning, and it was brand new. I can just give that to a family member when they come and visit. There's no point in me having all of those seasonings. So I did tons of decluttering, which is why I think I had enough glass jars for all of my seasonings because I did get rid of ones that I just wasn't using that I didn't like. And I also got rid of any duplicates as well. So 
So we're gonna take a little bit of a break and then I'll share with you guys the progress. Let's go ahead and get all of the clothes out the wash machine. We're gonna transfer everything to the dryer. I'm gonna put a couple of dryer sheets in there. I did have to do two cycles since this load was so large to get it completely dry. So I will have to toss that through when this finishes up in about 45 minutes. Okay guys, all of my jars are done and this is all of my overflow seasonings, everything that I was able to fill up and when I need to refill it, I will just store these two little crates in my pantry. I was able to have labels for almost every single seasoning. I got creative, I didn't have exact one. Like I had like a mixed herb seasoning and they actually had one that said like five seasoning and mixed herbs. So that was really helpful. I really didn't have to create any of my own labels, which is really nice. So this is how it is looking. It did take quite a bit of time because my OCD, I kind of wanted to try to get the label as perfect as possible without measuring. I think I did a pretty good job with this. So we're gonna get all of these seasonings in this little cabinet and I may store these little two things at that very top one since I have space up there and then put the glass jars here. I think it's gonna look really good. Even though that's overdue, we had a fire, now we're watching it burn. So here's the part that I am all about, the organizing part. I didn't like putting all of the seasonings in the jars. That wasn't too fun, but this was super fun getting all of my seasonings here. You guys, how beautiful does this look? I feel like I have my own little store here. So if you guys have not done this to your seasonings, I strongly recommend it. All of the products I use in this video, of course, I will have linked down in the description box for you guys so you can purchase it. But my favorite are the labels that go in the glass jar. I think those look so beautiful. Okay guys, here is how everything is looking. I stored some extra seasonings up there. I have one more that I'm probably gonna store in my pantry because it can't fit up there, not unless I take it out the bin and I can put them up there as well. But I just kinda like how organized this looks when I open it. But how I stored my jars, I did not store mine alphabetical order, which would not make sense for me at all. I stored it in a way as I use my seasoning. So all of the ones that I use most frequently, like salt and pepper, garlic powder, seasoned salt, I use those almost on a daily basis. So I put that front and center. I use all of my herbs very, very often. So I put that the second row. And ones that I don't use very often, I put in the back. But I love how you can still see them on this little organizer. This is just so nice to have. I know a lot of you guys were looking for it. If you found it, please comment below and let me know if you can just put the link down below. So that way, if anyone wants one for their cabinet, they can order one because I checked on Amazon and just could not find it. But it is amazing because you can just pull this down and see all of your seasonings, which is really nice. I think this just looks so good. All right, guys, so that organizing took quite a bit of time, a few hours that I did not anticipate it to take. I thought it was gonna be like a 30, 45 minute type of thing, but no, it definitely took a few hours to get that done, but that is okay. I took a little bit of a lunch break, heated up some leftovers, so I am back and we are getting this kitchen put back together. Just wanna put all of the clean dishes out of the dishwasher, put that away. All of the hand wash dishes we're gonna get put away, and we're just gonna be clearing the counters and wiping down all the surfaces. least favorite thing to do in the kitchen is drying the dishes and getting them put away. Sometimes my dishwasher does a really good job at drying my dishes completely through and then other times they're still a little bit wet. I think it's the way I load them in so I have to try to perfect loading them correctly so that way I won't have to like dry the dishes from the dishwasher. But anyway I find this part to be the most time consuming. Let me know down below what is your least favorite thing to do when you are cleaning your kitchen. I think I'm losing my mind, but I guess that's what love do. So now that 
we have all the dishes put away. We have all the dishes washed. I'm just wiping down all the counters. I'm using that Mrs. Meyers multi-surface concentrate to wipe down the counters. Like I told you guys in my last cleaning video, I just love switching up my cleaning products using different things. So that's why you see me using almost a different product in every video. I just like to have fun with it, get excited to clean, use something new here and there to make this process not as daunting as it is. We don't say a word, we're just looking at each other. Tears in our eyes from the words we said. Yeah, it kind of broke my heart. Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think. I'm trying my best to hold on, but I feel myself giving. You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this. We hurt each other's feelings on and on. So the last thing we're gonna be taking care of this kitchen, I just wanted to go ahead and wipe out the inside of the sink. You have to do that when you clean your kitchen. We're moving into the family room and I just gave Lissy her new toy. Well, she's had it now for like a day or so. Whenever I go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods, I always end up bringing a toy home for her. She loves toys, you guys. I tried to bring a Bentley home one, but he's seven, you guys. He's not really much into dog toys anymore. He was when he was a puppy, but right when he turned like five or six years old, dog toys just kind of didn't interest him anymore so I kind of spoil him with like treats and things like that I'll bring him home some treats I'll make him homemade treats so that kind of makes him excited whereas Blissey is all about the toys we're gonna be giving this floor a good vacuum and then we're gonna be moving into the master bedroom to get all of that bedding back on the bed sheets on you come with mama show them how big you got show them say I'm a perfect 50 pounder I just got weighed say I weigh exactly 50 pounds <laughs> come on let's go put the sheets on uh oh uh oh you gotta be careful of this see come on we also put this bell right here we have one at the front door but um, we didn't have one back here. This is what she rings when she has to go potty. So this has to be nearby. If we're like hanging out in the back room, she can ring it and let us um, know when she has to go. All right, let's go put these sheets. Up your and I also forgot to share my TJ Maxx haul. These slippers that I'm wearing, I got them on clearance from TJ Maxx when I got everything else. They were on clearance for $13. They're Steve Madden. I do have some white slippers that I love, but I kind of like these ones a little bit better because they're like completely hard at the bottom and they're just more supportive. And I think they're meant for outdoor shoes, but I turn them into indoor shoes. It's like a hard bottom and then it has like the white fur around them. So wanted to share that in case you are in the market for some house shoes. TJ Maxx had a lot of the house shoes on clearance. I did have to speed this part up quite a bit because it does take a little bit of time to get the duvet cover on the bed. I did try out several methods that are supposed to make this process go by faster, but to be 100% honest, I still find this way to be the easiest way for me. I haven't found a faster way yet. So if you know of one, let me know down below. But I tried the burrito method and it just ended up being more complicated than helpful. So I just do it the old fashioned way. I stuff it in there, tie the ties on the duvet, and I just 
kind of shake it till everything's like well distributed. That's just like the best way, if that makes sense. And then we're also gonna be finishing up this room by spraying my Casa Luna room spray. So you'll see me doing that here in a second. You can pick it up from Target and it smells so good. I have it in the Clarity scent. They have so many different flavors. They also make it in a candle as well. And it just freshens up your sheets. I put it on like the couch as well. Anything really that's linen. And you can also spray it in the air and it just smells so good, like a luxury hotel. You guys say bye. Bentley, can you say goodbye? Lissy, Lissy girl, say bye to everybody. Say bye. <laughs>